So let's start with the first folder of your Laravel application. And here you can see we have uh, our Laravel application here that we just have created in our last video. And here you can see at the top, we have the first folder with the name app. So basically this folder includes the entire source code of the project. It contains uh, events, exceptions, middlewares, controllers, providers, models, and etc. Now uh, let's uh, uh, understand uh, in the, the subfolder of this app folder that is a console folder. So console includes the artisan commands necessary for Laravel. It includes a directory name commands and where all the commands are declared with the appropriate signature. And here you can see the file kernel.php calls the commands declared in inspire.php. Now, uh, the other folder is the exception folder. This folder contains all the methods needed to handle exceptions. It also contains, here you can see the file that is handler.php that handles all the uh, exceptions of your project. And the third folder, the third subfolder of app folder is the HTTP folder. And HTTP folder has uh, more subfolders for controllers, middlewares, and application requests like controller folder. In this folder, we have all the controllers uh, of our application. And uh, the other folder is the middleware. In this folder, we store all the middlewares of our application. Now, uh, the other, the fourth folder, the fourth subfolder is the models folder. And uh, as the name suggests, this folder includes all the models of your application. Now, uh, the last folder you can see is the, the large subfolder is the providers. This folder includes all the service providers required to register events for core servers and to configure your Laravel application. Now, uh, after this app folder, we have the bootstrap folder and this folder encloses all the application bootstrap scripts. It contains a subfolder uh, with a name, name uh, cache, which includes all the files associated for caching a web application. You can also file, find um, a, a file app.php, which initialize uh, all the scripts necessary for your bootstrap framework. And the third folder we have is the config folder. And config folder includes the various configuration of your application uh, required for the smooth functionality of your Laravel application. Now, uh, the fourth folder of your uh, Laravel root directory is the database folder. And this database folder is very important folder. As the name suggests, this directory includes various uh, uh, folders and files. And generally it includes three subdirectories as given below. One is the factories. Second one is the migration. And third one is the cedars. So the uh, factory subfolder uh, is the is used to generate large number of data records. And the migration subfolder helps in queries for migrating the database used in the web application. And uh, the seeders folder contains all the classes used for unit testing uh, of your database. Now the fifth folder we have is the public folder and this folders and this folder, uh, help us help our application, help, uh, us to initialize the Laravel application. It includes, uh, it generally includes the following files and folders, uh, dot ht access your favicon icon, the index dot PHP file, and this, uh, the dot ht access uh, gives the server configuration of your application. 
and the favicon icon is just a icon of your application and index.php is the file that is required for the initialization of your web application and all the javascript and css or assets files are saved in this public folder now the uh, sixth folder we have is the resources folder and this folder uh, enhance your web application this sub, uh, this folder has many subfolders uh, you can see uh, one is css javascript language and the main folder is the is your views folder so uh, the css uh, javascript folder is your assets folder um, that are required for styling the web application and the uh, lang folder is for uh, localization or configuration for localization or internet internalization of your application now the third subfolder in your resources folder is the views folder that plays a uh, play a primary role in your mvc architecture and this views folder contains all the html files or blade templates files uh, that that will interact your front end of your application now the seventh folder is the uh, routes folder in your laravel application and the routes folder basically uh, contains all the uh, route route file routing file of your application all the all of the routing can be handled uh, from this folder from the files contains in the folder like the api.php is the file this is the file that that is uh, responsible for handling the routing for our api application if you are creating a laravel api application then you are working then you are usually working in this uh, file for routing so we will understand uh, about we will learn about routing in our next up upcoming video but this folder contains all the route file of your application the second file we have channels.php all the um, uh, all the routing related to uh, broadcast channels can be handled from this file and then we have console routes file and then we have web.php that is the main file for your uh, routing uh, to handle routing for your application and the uh, eight folder is the storage folder in your root directory of your application and this folder stores all the logs and necessary file which are needed frequently when a laravel project is running and this uh, this folder also has uh, three subfolders one is app folder that contains all the files that are called in sessions and the second folder is the uh, second subfolder is the framework that contains sessions cache and views which are called frequently and the third subfolder is the logs folder that contains all exceptions error logs that uh, that are uh, tracked in the subfolder of your application and uh, another folder we have is the test folder all the unit test cases are included in this folder the naming convention for naming test case classes is camel case and follows the convention as per functionality of the class now the other folder we have is the vendor folder and laravel is completely based on composer dependencies for example to install laravel setup or to include third party libraries the vendor folder includes all the composer dependencies like here you can say you can find all the dependencies of your uh, laravel project in this vendor in this vendor folder and then we have uh, uh, all the files of our laravel project like dot editor config it is uh, it is the file that handle the configuration of your project and then we have dot env file this is the really uh, this is the most important file of your application because it handles all the configuration related to your database related to your application details 
and uh, related to your uh, cache details, session details, and every details of your application. And that dot ex, uh, dot env dot example file is basically the example file of this dot env. And then we have our uh, git ignore and git related files. And then this dot stylus dot yml. This is the uh, PHP. This is the the uh, file that handles the version and the preset of your uh, Laravel project. And then artisan file that handles and register all the uh, uh, commands of your applications. Then we have composer.json that contains all the details of your project related to your comp related to the composer uh, dependencies. Then we have composer.log. This is also the file that contains all the uh, log details, all the settings of your Laravel project related to the uh, composer uh, uh, dependencies. Then we have package.json. Uh, package All the scripts and dev dependencies are uh, stored here. You can see all the scripts are here. All the dev dependencies are here. Every time you install a new package, uh, you can find that package here. Like here, you can see the Exios installed in our application. And so the Exios with, with its version is written here. Then we have PHP unit dot XML. And this is the XML setting file for unit testing. And then readme file and then server.php that is uh, hand, that handles the server of our laravel application that um, that uh, that is very helpful in uh, to run our laravel application then we have webpack.mix.js file and this files uh, actually handles all the um, uh, bundling of our application like uh, all the framework all the CSS JavaScript framework. So all these framework are bundled here. So this is the project directory uh, application structure of your Laravel application. And I hope that you will understand uh, this uh, folder structure and time to time when you build your application, when you create your Laravel application, you will understand all of these, all of the uses of uh, individual folder one by one.